You're standing there right there, you come over and you push me as I'm sitting here. Am I attacked or are we fighting because of the conversation that we're having right now? Well, fight, fight takes two people, okay? Right. So for it to be a fight, you have to be an aggressor, I have to be an aggressor. If I just walk up to you and push you, now that was an attack, okay? okay? Now if I keep on doing it, you're being attacked. Mm -hmm. Now you have every right, legal right, to defend yourself against me. But also, you don't have that crystal ball. You don't know when I'm gonna stop. Am I just gonna hit you? Am I just looking to take your wallet? Am I looking to prove a point? Or am I whacked out? Hey, I need, I'm going all the way with this. You don't know. Right. So how, how far are you gonna let it go before you said, my life is now in jeopardy. Right. Now I have to do something about it. Right. So now, so, so that's where we have to find where that line is. You know, was it, is it just a verbal altercation? that resulted in me attacking you? Was it just, you know, shut up and that guy walking away? Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's so many aspects to this. We can what if yes. this thing to, to, to death. Well, but, but what it comes down to is, at the root of all self-defense scenarios, your life has to be in jeopardy. I can't shoot you because I'm pissed at you. I can't shoot you because I will revenge on you. I can only shoot because there's an imminent threat to my life or somebody else's life, period. 